Another great application for the Zero Play Guide Bar is making a measuring fixture for tuning your table saw blade to be parallel with the miter gauge slots. For accurate and clean cross cutting, the blade needs to be absolutely parallel to a miter gauge or any other jig that runs in your miter gauge slots. Now to adjust the blade parallel to the miter gauge slots, first you want to check and see if it's out at all. How, how I check that is to mount a dial indicator which measures in thousandths of an inch as referenced on this off this plunger here I mount it to a mounting block here just a wood mounting block that's about five inches long attached to two of the screw holes in the zero play guide bar that I've already sized to take to my miter gauge slots and notice that I've got no side to side play because what I'm interested in now is in measuring the distance from the slot to the blade at the front of the blade and at the back of the blade and I don't want any side to side play at all in, a, in perhaps if I would have made a wooden bar instead and it wasn't exactly accurate that's going to affect my measurement so the zero play guide bar is a great bar to mount this block on. So real quickly to set your blade parallel to your miter gauge slots what you do is you take a good quality blade something that has a pretty flat plate on it and mark on the blade behind the teeth on the actual blade plate you want to make a mark like we've done here and set your dial indicator against that mark and zero out the dial indicator on to zero now you pull it back rotate the blade so that your mark is now at the far end of the blade and push your plunger against that and you want to make sure that you're within a thousandth or two of the distance that you are at the front of the blade that ensures that your blade is parallel to your miter gauge slots. If it's out, you'll need to adjust the tabletop in the case of a cabinet saw like this, or in the case of a, a contractor saw, you, you need to loosen the trunnion mounting bolts underneath and adjust the whole blade mechanism parallel to the miter gauge slots. The reason that we don't just measure at the front and the back of the blade the reason that we rotate the blade measuring only at one point is to take out of the equation any deviance in the blade flatness. But this is a great accurate way to, uh, to aid that, that measurement is to use a zero play guide bar.